in control. So this is by the same creator as the poorly translated Bob is You series. So this is just the normal Bob is You so far, seemingly. You know, it's the game where you can break rules, make new rules, etc. So wall is pushed, lets me push walls. And the flag is win, but I can make rock is win instead to win on the rock. So, what's the meme? Well, do you notice something wrong here? The move tutorial is now messed up. I mean, you can't see this issue, but I now got a control in what inverted nonsense. I mean, it's only backwards, so I guess that's that's intuitive enough. And by the way, this is not the only part of the pack. It's not just messed up controls. I've seen a screenshot that confirms it's even more cursed than that. All right, I maneuvered all the way here, and now we sink on there, and there we go. All right, puncture. Well, that's move. That seems normal so far. Interestingly, pressing space doesn't do anything. Space is usually idle. It skips a turn in normal Baba, but that has been disabled this time. And currently, this is on the exact wrong parity. Oh, actually, there is a way to kind of make a make way and make room, huh? I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, there's there's no way to get through this. How Seemingly. I mean, we have to stop for some reason. Grass is defeat. I don't... Hmm, I don't know if there's another trick, or maybe this is just a freaking maze. Like, I, it doesn't seem like I can make a way to the right so far. Oh, on the edge of the screen. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. So, the edge of the screen, just in case, um... So I'm able to waste the move by pressing left here. Because I'm hitting the edge of the screen. Okay. I... Yep, pretty cool. And I gotta wait on the edge of the screen again for, for that one. <laughs> cool. Alright. Don't forget anything. Um... Oh no! Oh no! So that GG, it, if I go left, it destroys the letter A. And now, I can't move to the left anymore. Okay, okay, okay. So, there's a bunch of keys in this level as well. But, how do I make it? Hmm. Okay, so what do we have? We have a door. So if I, I'm able to get a key... Hmm. No, this, this key seems to get me stuck. How about this side? If I go here... But I can't press left anymore, so is is the, is the whole idea there's only one key that will let me get to this door? I think that's it. There we go. Alright. Uh, idle cursor is you and win. What? I'm just gonna press... Okay. For some reason, idling doesn't work. Oh, maybe I need to unlock the idle control. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. That's why pressing space does nothing and I don't win. Alright. Next. All right, now we do have access to the waiting, but that does only kill me right now. Cause, okay, I see why. Cause tree make foliage is defeat, and it's constantly making foliage. If I press idle uh, space, then I will get defeated. So don't. So I have this thing that lets me make a, I mean, belt is shift. Okay, no, no, not not push. What's what's the idea? Like this doesn't let me make foliage, and the foliage always disappears. This is the rule that's making the foliage disappear. So I guess there's must be some sort of trick way to get a piece of foliage on the water and sink it, maybe. No. Okay, so it you can even see a bit of the foliage here, but it disappears. It turns into empty before I'm able to before it sinks. I'm also not quite sure what going down there even accomplishes for me. Although it is sort of overlapping the rules a little bit, which is suspicious. Although the pfft, wait, text isn't even floating, so I could have just sunk it all along. But hmm, does that mean that I can mess with the rules text? <laughs> oh no. Um, all right, so we just got rid of the space to wait, but yeah, now it just doesn't work. It doesn't, like, do something special. I, I'm pretty sure I need to idle. So, <laughs> what the hell? I can't move the word. I, I can't tell if I can move the word wait. Now pressing S makes me move to the right. Very bad. All right, hold on. I need more text or something. So I'm going to stack, push, and shift. No, no, no. Hmm. Push and... No, no. The shift needs to go the other side. Um, here. Now, now they're together, which means I, I think I always want the belt to be push plus shift. And that means that I have another piece of text at my disposal. I can keep the same rules while keeping the text. Oh, wait, what the? Okay, no, because text has trees. That's why. Okay, so the text can't sacrifice there. Hmm. That's actually a bit of a problem. Because I was hoping to use the text to sync something. Well, if I can't do that, then what can I do? It'll create trees, which is just a solid object. I can go here and... Oh, I can move the word wait. What the? Well, that's not good. Again, I need a command to wait. So I don't think that's good. I need to sacrifice something. 
<laughs> but sacrificing A is a bad idea. I kinda just don't get, like, this entire structure seems to mean that I'm forced to destroy two belts. And then I have no more belts to move or to do any of the fun stuff, moving around everything. And by the way, yes, I have seen that the flag can be moved. It doesn't matter because the flag, we need that alive. I don't know what to do. I've just been sitting here mostly. I mean, I can break move. Which, oh yeah, that makes sense. It's cursed, but that makes sense why that works. Because... Because this move is like centered into like looking, it's looking at the spaces above it in the WASD position, right? So if I move that right, then it's like looking for the WASD in those positions, which in this case is only SND right now. Why does this just seem impossible? Like, you can't get rid of space, can't get rid of weight. I mean, you definitely can't get a w rid of weight. Oh my god, it's gonna be that is- Oh my god! Ugh. This is why you should actually try things, like... I've had this idea for the past 20 minutes where, where you stack the is's. So now the belt is shift times two. So the first one dies. So of course that is is stacked, which means that the belt is push plus shift statement will happen twice. And that's re relevant because this will instead hop over the water instead of dying. Um, <laughs> I hold on, but that means space is wait. Is that the only thing I could have done? Yeah, I mean, the reason I didn't think of this was because I thought the- I realized you could stack the is's. Of course you could stack the is's, but I thought the purpose of that was to skip over the first water, and I was, like, getting stuck and looping over that thought. Being like, well, it's useless to skip over the first water. The first water is honestly a joke. It's so disgusting that I was freaking red herring by that. So either you do that, hopping it over, or you make A wait instead. I, maybe this is it. So now if I press A... I move and also, you know, hopefully wait. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Hmm. Alright, there it is. Okay, level 5. Hopefully, much faster at this one. Okay, so we got a, two W keys. Skull is shift a lot. Oh, also, oh my god, I just instinctively pressed arrow keys because I'm inconsistent. And yeah, arrows don't work. Because <laughs> it makes sense. Arrow keys don't work. Um, I wonder if they're going to show up. So... Skull? I can only... No, I can't even do that. So, I guess snail is shift. That's the only way to move these around. Hmm. What? How do you even win, though? Hog on lock, eat control? Okay, that's that's the thing that refers to all controls. <laughs> I also have no idea how we're gonna get to the flag at the top. Like, what? That's just, like, completely blocked off, seemingly. So, we could put the skull on there, and then skull is shift. will move the W away. But why? Why would you want this? Also, I noticed there's some suspicious dia- Okay, okay, okay. Um, I understand. You're gonna ju All you need to do is walk to the top right at the same time. <laughs> this really is an upgrade to that diagonals pack that I showcased uh, in, in some ways. But it's kind of- Like, how is this difficult, I guess? Because can't you just do this? Then do skull of shift? Hmm. Oh, wait. What just happened? Okay. So pressing- but that's wrong, though. Hmm. If I press W, I get left plus up. But I don't want that. I want the W to be stacked on the D. But how do you do that when this is in the way? I guess you must need, like, a huge shift stack. I also noticed something else important. It says cog on lock eat control. Now, this this W has a lock on it. The other W doesn't. Which means that maybe this W is the one that goes in onto the D. But now I can't press up. I mean, W, and go up for obvious reasons. So, maybe there's a way to make the skull shift down in in position to replace the W, like that. And then we would want to switch this to, say, skull is shift. Which is awkward, because I need snail is shift right here. Okay, so skull's used to move this down. Okay, got it. This is a bit tedious, if intended. I think it's intended. Because you're gonna have to move this down multiple times. But yeah, you do skull is shift. Oh, that also moved the W. Huh, that's too early to move the W. <laughs> anyway, this is actually kind of annoying. Especially because I can't use arrows. But, but you do skull of shift, and then continually move the snail as you down. What a sanity depleting job. Also, I'm worried I'm gonna need to turn this freaking vertical. <laughs> I think this is the right level now. So let's set up that whole thing again. But this time I believe I know what I want to do. I want to put skull there, then... Don't want to stack. Actually, I never considered stacking the skulls for helping. I mean, it doesn't fit here anyway. Let's just do this. So, put the W there. The W doesn't die. 
then move this to say Skull is Shift, and then we got our W back, and that means that I can go back to Snail is Shift, move the correct W on top of the D. <clears throat> um, <laughs> move the Skull there, and then the Skull can be the one that moves on the D. There we go, there it is. Okay, so now I gotta be a little... No, it's fine, it's fine. Now, uh, pressing W will make me move up and to the right, because of this, obviously, and now I just need to press D to go here. Okay. What a nice inter introduction, though, to the- the cup. <laughs> what the hell? That just unlocked on the map? QCCC. Ah! Okay, so... C lets me move down right, Q makes me move up left, sure, sure. Pack's giving me, me too much choice of le what levels to play. <laughs> Whatever, let's go here. Lost words. Yep. Okay, now there's like the word space is over here and I can push it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is because control is pushed, by the way. That's why. And I can make space wait again if I really want. Hmm. And there's a D sitting around here. Why exactly can I not phantom here? Phantom allows me to walk like over solid objects, but I, get, but I bet vines defeat. Yeah. Okay. So even though we have Phantom, there's nothing I can do about it, seemingly. Maybe Idle Rock is shift. No, I can't do that. I don't even know why Idle is here. The belt's suspicious, though. And I don't want to get rid of the controls. That's a very bad idea. Maybe Idle Belt is shift. Oh! Idle Belt is shift will work here. Yep. So I do this. Why is the belt freaking green, by the way? It's impossible to see it. So I do... Uh, here, Idle Belt is shift. Hopefully I don't lose the uh, Phantom text here. You can see, like, I'm doing Rock is doing Phantom, but if I idle, then it goes away. So that should be enough to, like, go through here. Now I, I, I press space to idle, so now... Well, I should do it here first. Okay, good. So now I have an extra Phantom and extra D. Is there a way to stack these? Hmm. Yeah, I guess Control is pushing Phantom. So this now allows me to stack W and D and go upright. So is there a diagonal location? Well... I see a diagonal over there, but that's not where I would need to go. I would need to stack it on the S or something. Yeah, this looks so weird. Hmm. Do we get rid of the A? Probably not. Hmm. What if I stack two Ds on each other? I do go twice. Okay. It even lets me pierce through trees? What? <laughs> huh. Okay, how about here, here, here? Here? Okay, wow, that, wow, that was really weird ending, but I, that was cool. Alright. Back to, um, here. Well, I don't know why I say back to. We got A. Control is swap. Hmm. Are we- we're just double moving A or what? It f feels like it, probably. We die on top of this bog. So what diagonal or, like, what can I do here? We probably don't actually need D that much. I don't know what blob is pulling. Like, what is this? There's a blob on the bottom right. Well, what is that for? I can do blob is control, which there's no visible effect. Probably because control is like, I don't know, a different thing entirely. There, there must be a curse stack I can do. I just don't know what it is. I can do that in order to get the A's stacked on each other. So now I double move on A. I don't know why I have this feeling that I wanted to like double move on uh, right for some reason, though. Like here. So, okay, if I press A, nothing visibly seems to happen. I kind of feel like maybe this counts as a move to the right and then to the left or something, but I don't think that's happening. What can you do blob is Bob? Oh, that makes some sense. Maybe the... But why pull then? I mean, if I do double moving A, and then I make blob uh, is Baba, then I have two... Like, I can just move that bottom right blob out because I have the A double moving. Do I understand why, though? <laughs> How this helps? Not really. Whoa, whoa, hold on. What the hell was that? that the way that multi-push work is so cursed. Like, why? Pressing A does this. <laughs> it's like... It should be blocked. I don't know. Anyway, does having two Babas help the situation? Does it maybe allow me to rescue something? Like... I can do that. That that procedure stacked S and A together. But now I can't move down. Stacking S and A is... Well, no, because... Oh, shoot. I was hoping to get a triple move, but I don't actually have that. Oh, that's... Hold on. Wait, wait, what the? What's... Whoa, wait a minute. It's very suspicious that that happens. We have a chain of is's, like, just separated by two on the left. It makes it seem like we're doing a similar thing here with the is's or something. 
Hmm, we die there? Uh-oh. If only we could shove it further. Oh. That was a really weird ending to the level. Hmm. I was expecting all the holes in the bottom left to matter, but I guess they freaking don't. So, you know, goodbye. All right, now for this. We want to go to level eight. We got to use the C button because you remember the QQCC. Yep. All right. Plagiar... Move to... <laughs> I don't... I don't recognize this if it's plagiarism, but yes, move to. Hilarious. Ah, uh, that, that, that does make sense, because U2 is indeed moved by, uh, like, in, in, in Baba is U's main game, the arrows are the U2, so U2 does this. In Baba is U and still, the still part means that I can't use Waz to move. I also noticed at the very top right, command is pushed, so it's a new word that we have. So now all of a sudden we can move this, which is nice. Also cursed. Reed is you too. Hmm. Why are those stuck? Reed near water is still. Okay. Hmm. Can we get these babas gone? Like, what the hell's with. Why? Why can't we move the babas? Move two. Hmm. It's a weird level. Like, I. Hmm. We need to get rid of all these reeds, but how? There's no way. Sacrificing these is really bad because, like, uh, I can't push right anymore. Just seem like. Yeah, sure. Reed is you too. What does that accomplish? There was something suspicious about the original Baba, though. Hmm. Of course, in the original Baba, like the regular freaking game, arrow keys do work for movement. So maybe there's some weird interaction there. If you, like, you kill the Babas, do you get your arrow movement or Waz movement on the other thing back? It would be a pretty big stretch, though. Don't really get why these are pushable. Like They just ruin my ability to move very well. Well, no, why did I even say that? I know why they're pushable, because they'll kill the reeds in the future. Probably. <laughs> but still, I... <sighs> Need Baba not live. Oh my god, it's so obviously moving the... Why? <laughs> Clearly losing it if I don't know how to do these simple things. Like, it is just so incredibly simple. It is just... Okay, we need to do it from the right angle. You need to do that and switch to Keke's U2. Look at that! So now, of course, you can't see it yourself, but WASD now works. My theory is correct. Now that we have no more characters that are you, uh, Keke can just use the WASD. And now that means this move two stuff is useless to me. I don't need it anymore. That's a pretty great level. If only I didn't forget how to do basic things in Baba, then it wouldn't have taken that long. <laughs> Alright. Level 9 is opened. Alright. So now... Why do we have the rules inside the water? Um, this reed. We need to get rid of this reed, and so we need to unlock it using shut and open. If an object is open and then touches an object that is shut, then it, then it destroys it. But first... Ooh, you can do control as you. Please work. Yes, it does work, except... It doesn't... You can't move very far with it. <laughs> okay. Oh, but you can move it nearby move two, seriously? Oh my god. So now, okay, there's no way this is actually going to be working, like, useful. But it's funny that D move two actually reaches reaches it. Hmm. Oh, but this is really strange. Maybe control is more? Like, we want U2, I'm pretty sure, because it's just their bad bad is U2. And uh, currently we have no ability to move it, though. Control is more. Uh-huh. Okay, so now... <laughs> Cursed? Maybe not that much. Oh my god, we're moving diagonally sometimes now? Oh my god. But hey, at least we unlock control for Bad Bad, even though we can only move in like two freaking directions. Also, when did control become push? What the hell? Oh, we, we, it was always push. I'm an idiot. But still, way too cursed. Okay. Huh. Hey, look at that. We've managed to uh, keep the WASD in the middle. Does that mean I can now recover the situation and gain my move too? We still need the like the open and shut to work out. Just kind of weird because why don't I do control is shut? Like I have both open and shut now, so um, what the hell was the point of move two? <laughs> All right, whatever, spaghetti monster. All right, nice cheese. Um, <laughs> minimalism. Draft. Okay, so my first turn immediately control um, command draft moves. So that overwrites the command with 
move. Except this is a pun. The, the, that's, oh my god, the word move. The move double meaning. Okay, I don't know if you, rec like, I guess, like, no, you, you should respect the word move is used at, over there. Because the word move has a different meaning. This is basically a double meaning joke. That it's not going to be appreciated if you've not played Baba. But, I mean, why the hell would you have not played Baba? So I'm going to do tile E control, making me only able to move W and S seems bad. Um, shovel is push. We also change to shovel is shift. I hope that shift pun is used. Hmm. So we have two cacks right here. Not really sure why. Hmm. I can make command draft idle. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so I guess the, this is imperfect. That WSD, uh, when you draft idle, it says wait. I mean, like, it doesn't say idle, but it's basically the same meaning anyway, so whatever. I'm not gonna complain that hard about it. Hmm, but how do you ever get onto the right side? Like, would you lose that? It's really bad to lose that. I guess you do shift. You shovel the shift and move all this stuff down or something. I shovels, like, maybe it's thematic, but you can't see the shovels very well on the freaking text at all. Like, what is with, like, with these freaking graphical design choices that people make in their level packs? Anyway, now that I've done that, that moves everything down. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> no! I don't understand what Keke is for. Keke draft. This doesn't even make anything. Probably couldn't make Keke draft idle, though. Now there are weights. So I could turn... Hmm. But why? Why would I want to, to turn those things into weight? I guess I could turn them back into move, maybe? No, rock is shift, so you're not going to be able to bring the word giraffe back in there. So I need to think about how two waiting keys could ever help me, I guess. Command draft kek. That does absolutely nothing. I could do alternator time. I only say tile eat control for only one turn, so if I alternator with shovels, then it's maybe fine. I could just have them evade the eating for a turn. Hmm. But... So, why do I need an idle key? I mean, I understand there's an idle key. No, no, wrong time. Oh, hold on. Ah, uh, that's a problem. Hmm. I can only press D on the turn that will kill it, so that's not gonna fix it. I'm gonna think of some more cursed thing, I don't know. Also, are the shovels moving the tiles too? I guess they would, oh my gosh. So there's nothing I can do then. The tile will always follow the, the letter on it around. Okay, so then we're gonna like cause a massive run around with the shovels then. Like, because if we can't move that, we can move the word move. So then instead the word move is the one that's moving instead. But then I don't understand what, what the kickies are here. So we're gonna have a problem arranging this shovel right here to face left. Oh, so we just do it in either way. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. No, because this can't face the- What am I doing? Like, I can't even make a six cycle because I'm- I can't actually make these face left because I need to make it move left on its last turn for it to face that way. Fine, we're just gonna set up the merry-go-round here because I don't freaking know. So, I do that. Now... Yes, they go in nonsensical directions and I have to keep track of this every single move. I will also only end up with two directions. And let, okay, let's just save myself a little bit of time. This might not be necessary, but I figure, I mean, just in case, because it clearly wants you to do something similar to this, you can do Keke Draft Idle here. And then uh, some bonus commands will be there for me to wait. What? What, what do they stand still? What the? Oh, I, f oh <laughs> I forgot to put two shovels in there. Hold on. Okay, there it is. Now... I can press some commands that will make cause me to wait. So in case things are not going well, they probably want to go one above. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Does you know, this idea of putting it one above not work with the shovels because they're also freaking push? Hmm. So maybe we start by doing this as awful as it looks. We're not even doing the idling right now. This is a complete disaster, and uh, you probably just by watching probably don't appreciate how much of a disaster controlling this is. Shoot, I probably should have done Keke is still, or I don't know. I need to say Keke draft still plus is idle. <laughs> okay, so I am going to want to push the... Oh, right, there's still. What, what? <laughs> so I need to freeze. I need to do all a bunch of movement nonsense, then freeze them in place afterwards. D, S, okay. 
And then S. Okay, so now Keke is in both the empty spaces. Now we're slowly making Keke is still. But not now. I guess Keke is still bad here because they, they turn into, um, turn Keke into solid object, which is not what I want. I want Keke draft idle then at the right time. I also need to switch parity by touching the edge, which is, uh, you know, just adds to the cursedness. Okay, so now W, A. Press A again. And now the weights are in perfect spot, I think. Well, for some reason, the freaking commands are not still, which I need to do. Okay, but wrong timing still. Um, okay, perfect. This is the position where both the top left and the top right are weight keys. Because remember, I'm going to have these keys get complete. Like two of my four keys will get eaten up later on. So I'm going to need to f a way to for it to cycle. Okay, here it is. So the, those were, were always going to be gone. Now... I wait. Okay. Um, S is the one that moves to the right. There we go. Okay, so now we always will have a weight available. So we need to move to the right. Unfortunately, this this is a very high indicator that this is all intended, by the way. I need to press S here, then press S to move up. I need to wait by pressing S. Wait by pressing W. Okay, now I can finally move up. S. Yeah, this is just... I hope the point has gotten. And also, why the hell? Why does this take forever? <laughs> I give this level a, like... 7 out of 10 concept, 0 out of 10 execution. Alright, we're almost there. S. I gotta wait, wait, W. Wait, wait, S. <sighs> the level's called Minimalism. <laughs> This is completely- that was not minimalist at all. That was about as minimalist as some guy's $5,000 tech upgrade. Anyway. Keke- <laughs> Excuse me, what? What is this? Keke press D. Well... Oh, so- so now every time I do a move, D is being pressed, huh? So I press S and D is happening. I press D and D happens twice. Okay, so it's like Keke is manifested itself on my keyboard and is pressing things. Without my permission. I also cannot push left here. So... What? Is there always just going to be an unsatisfying sacrifice? Hmm. Well, flag is win. Except not Lonely Bob is used to... What? 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 Why did I lose control? Is there a hidden background element? I'm going to go the... Ed Why? You can't see this. It's black on black. <sighs> We're gonna need a level pack that rants on creators insane. That doesn't even fix it. High contrast colors doesn't fix anything. <sighs> Reset all kekes. What? What? What's? What? Why? What the hell? Why is there this much rubble on on the screen? Okay, I get changing the color to be something a little bit darker, so it doesn't freaking look ugly. But at least pick a thing that you could actually see. Well, anyway, now that we got that out of the way, so basically, Baba loses control when it's on an empty square. Basically, is, the, is what's going on. So, I probably want to find a way to press D multiple times or something. Oh, we can do a diagonal move, which does allow us to rescue the press. Okay. Now we have hi-hat and drum for some reason as some transformation thing. I'm pretty sure, we'll, like, maybe we want multiple objects to press D, but I don't really know how possible that is. Like, we, there's no such thing as pressing a hi-hat or something. Also, why does this level look vulnerable to the classic is win troll? What? <laughs> Chess battle advanced. Oh, great. Now we have space to wait. Which will not tr- I can't enter a level! Oh my god. And... No longer in control. W what is the other stuff? And also, I can't enter a level anymore... Because it's space to wait. Which will automatically- Like, when I press space, which is the same controls entering level- Oh wait, wait a minute, I can press enter to ed- Wow. That is- That's amazing. <laughs> Okay, we, we are in fact safe because enter also enters a level. Brilliant. 
All right, let's let's see what this level was trying to do because it was probably something more clever than the other level I cheesed. <laughs> Depressed Keke. Unfortunately, stacking D, like, I guess it's not really consistent, of course, because they have different text sizes, but that does not give you some double move either. Oh, if I'm multiple... Oh, it's a dupe... Okay, I understand. This is a dupe level. So, I dupe two objects, then turn them back into Keke, and the joke is, now, if you have two Kekes in the level, so I do that, and then drum is Keke. So then we have two Keke in the level, and so if you do Keke press D, then it will do two presses of D, because there's two Kekes. Now, I do need to, to, like, set this up well. There you go. So that's the intentional way. Alright, let's do the extra levels here. By pressing enter to enter the level, though. Warning, tricky. Snail, oh, only three? This, this is the same level. I don't... So, I'm, this is the previous level, by the way. This is not... This is the level with four skulls. And... Only now am I coming back to it, because we can do that. Uh, hold on, skull shift. For wait for two 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 moves effectively. Um, actually, we don't. Skull shift needs to go on the this way. <laughs> that was the intended easier solution for this, this level. Which means that when I first solved this level, I did it the hard way by accident. I freaking accidentally pressed space again. <sighs> if you don't mind. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do the exact same thing again. The, the, the thing that I- the hard solution I did required only three skulls to begin with, so therefore, it's time to bring out the cheats. <laughs> anyway, press enter here. So what is this even an extra li- <laughs> The battles are very advanced. Interesting. Like, I can show wonder if the undo and restart is ever going to be used as a meme. What can you even do? What? Wait. Okay, so I started on a safe square. Why does that prevent me? Lonely Bob is you. Oh. What? Hmm. I. All right. So like, Lonely Bob is you means that I ever go. If I ever go on one of these, I die. Effectively, because I can no longer control, but... But, like, how would it... It just seems like you're completely locked, doesn't it? Oh, maybe there's some cursed diagonal. Oh, Q is a cursed diagonal. Ah, uh, okay, so... So, I... Luckily, the E... Like, the diagonals work intuitively. You know? Like, if I press... Wait, why does it... Oh, X! Okay, X the freaking Z, yeah, cause, cause Z undoes, that's why X needs to be used to move down left. Alright. Now Q moves there, again, I don't know, X moves there. <laughs> this is horrid looking, but amazing at the same time. So I now need to alternate Q and X to go through here. I love that the, the space makes things even harder to see. Here it is. That's a great. That's so great. I love that theme of levels. Like it's so easy to forget. You can make um. There's you can design a level that is just spamming something over and over, and it's like visually visually very pleasing. <laughs> I guess, or in a cursed way, it might be unintuitive. So we have all this stuff on the right. We have to probably get rid of flag, defeat, wind, defeat. What is this stuff? We need to go to the right with a ton of Ds or something. Hmm, shift, move to... Shift. What do you mean? Shift. Yeah, but I'm pressing shift and nothing is happening. So your pun is... Your pun is bad. You should feel bad. It doesn't work. Um, very disappointing. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't have the same visual style as the other ones, but still, that kind of feels like it should have worked. Hmm. You, you can stack them for sure, but don't you need a lot of D's or something? I can... Mm. So I need to go all the way on the right side? How? And water is also defeat! Like, how? It's impossible looking. 
there's going to be some parallel universe stuff, and by that I mean it's the glitch where you can phase through the sides of the level, which I freaking didn't know about until some rude level pack did it on my face. Anyway. Might be unintuitive. Yeah, it freaking seems like it. You know, it's not as bad as it looks. I mean, the flat. What you need is a double mover, right? All you need. I say all, arguably, but yeah. All you need is a double move to push flag and win to the right. Okay. It's not as it's it's not that complicated, probably, but we still need a way to get well Baba needs to like die or something, which I don't even know how to get that to happen. Remember that freaking level where um we got double moves. Well not double moves, but we were able to use the move one to do a U2 move because there were no U's left. So if I do that, like for example, if I break Baba's U now, I can move Keke with WASD. We're basically doing that same thing, but but just like stack those, probably. Will that work? Yes, it does work. Okay. Nice phasing through. I need to parity shift. I can't parity shift right now. Hold on. Um, not with the current Keke position. So move Keke one to the right. All right, now there it is. Except. We have uh, killed Keke in the process because the water is a feat. So in other words, what we really wanted was Baba's Keke, which is fi fair enough. Hopefully we can make this work without the parity nonsense. Maybe Keke should be the one that's doing the move to stuff. I don't think it's that unintuitive, by the way. But ultimately we are making Baba's Keke because we need two characters as one, one of them will die. All right, Keke is shiv. Let's go. There you go, flag is win, and we are not on the correct horizontal parity for this one. Um, so, this should be easy, right? Just set the other Keke to be on the correct one before we do this nonsense. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, no, whatever, whatever. Um, how did that even happen? Why didn't it happen the first time? Um, anyway... No, 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 no. Oh, freaking! Maybe it's an maybe it's undoing that caused that problem. You know, we we don't want that. Oh God! We can't press down in from this position because of the why. This is especially annoying because when when you do this, um, the kekes are on quarter parity, as in each keke can only visit a quarter of all squares. So lining them up is even more annoying. Maybe this. No. Maybe we need to do the really annoying pro. No. There's no way that we move the entire move thing. It's too hard to maneuver that. You can just shift the flag beforehand. Why did it take three minutes for me to think of that one? All right, just shift the flag like once before you do anything. My gosh. Okay, whatever. Here. Except Keke is still... I don't care. Get rid of that. <laughs> All right, fun. What do you mean? Oh, right, because it's stuff to do the ending. Um... Alright, space to wait, you know, on purpose this time. <laughs> but wait, but what's the... No longer in control. Control is done. Oh, now Baba's moving for me. <laughs> Command is done. Baba's totally done with the players and nonsense. Inability to solve levels quickly. Inability to uh, not get screwed up by a keyboard. Thank you. New, yeah, like we did see a bunch of levels on the map. All right. Oh. Unused con. What? What? What's the other stuff? All right. Is this chess, is this chess battle advanced? <coughs> a nutter. <laughs> Note. Hold on. We gotta fix this. <laughs> Let's see this, uh, note would be like right before controls. You couldn't think of any new levels that could use it. Note would be the same region as draft and press. If you don't have anything for note shift... Yes! Okay, at least you have that. At least that's brilliant. Why don't you- why isn't that there? At least do one level where shift as the, the pun with the word shift is used, man. But I guess, yeah, left and right also completely makes sense. They turn into arrows when they're also properties in Baba, which is incredible. Yeah, oh, please. 
You can also modify the controls of Undo and Restart. Yeah, but it's a bit awkward because Undo and Restart don't appear on the screen. You don't have any ideas to use on levels. Rock in place of a control. Interesting idea there. Rockets created and the command associated will trigger. And alright. Well, I mean, this is still a really cool pack. And you 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 really are gonna make there's there's nothing on there's yeah there's just debug stuff. What a fake teaser! And you you might as well instead tease instead of this you're gonna write C B A. Then the islands actually mean something. Anyway, that was a great pack. Uh, I'm happy to play it even though some levels are like needlessly tedious for whatever reason. And this probably is a pack that is least videoable <laughs> because you don't get to experience the full extent of the cursed controls like I do. Um, but yeah, anyway, bye.